Our September training is about to kick off. Uh, I'm getting very excited. I've spoken to many people now uh, coming on the course. And just to give a rough idea of what's included in a Path of Yoga training, we have pretty much four weeks. It's about 26, 27 days. Um, and the first week is where we lay the foundation. This is where we really explain what yoga is, what is the path of yoga. Um, and asana is only one small piece of the puzzle or, or a piece of the pie. There's so much more to yoga and it's, this is what I get really excited to teach. I love how working with the body and opening and breathing and being present in the body becomes a somatic and healing experience. And for a lot of people that have practiced yoga have found this to be so, you know, they've had a deepening of relaxation which expands out into their day or they've healed um, mental or physical um, problems um, however we go a lot deeper into what yoga really is and where it can really take you which excites me so much because it is vast um, we give the teachings of yoga sutras of patanjali uh, and this is like a bedrock for wherever you move in yoga on your yogic path, whether it's for your own personal practice or if it's for really becoming a teacher where you teach from your heart and you know why and how um, and how to also navigate for the group that you're teaching. Uh, there's a lot covering the you know, anatomy and physiology and how to um, tailor an asana to the student, um, but also the more esoteric teachings of, you know, really starting to question who am I, you know. Um, I think as Socrates said, the unexamined life is a life not worth living. It's starting to really um, come within. And, you know, this is when we cultivate the peace and the happiness inside. This is where we take it everywhere. It's a wealth that cannot be lost. Um, and we also teach about the chakras. We teach about energy. I teach some really cool techniques like yoga nidra and learning about sankalpa. Um, there's a lot of uh, fulfillment that comes just from the teachings. And then we have the benefit of the energy of the group, the dynamism of the group. Um, we've had some amazing spontaneous offerings near the end of the training where people have the opportunity to offer something if they have a skill set that could support the group. Uh, I myself am very passionate about trauma-informed yoga and also I'm trained in a trauma healing therapy called Triple Vagal Method and this really influences how I like to hold the group also so it's providing a really safe container because the other thing about having an intense training because it is intense we're doing six days a week from sunrise we have the beautiful red sun rising over the mountains in front of us at the start of our practice and the chorus of birds um, and it's all the way till dinner so we celebrate the sunset and then we have a, a beautiful dinner so being in this container this is a time that is getting rarer and rarer in our daily life where it's just for you there's not the distraction of family work you know responsibilities of the household it's just for you being with you and I um, care very much that that container is a, a safe, nourishing space so that all of the different things that come up in our, in our experience that we normally have to suppress because of different responsibilities, they're welcome. And this is part of the kind of inner cleaning that happens because we get to feel it, to acknowledge it and to start kind of being aware of what's alive in us and, and uh, able to release also so that what happens is the our inner world becomes our sanctuary and closing our eyes becomes a place of peace and we don't need to turn to other things to help us unwind but actually we know we learn the tools of how to deepen and find more stillness and more peace or just the tools to when we notice our body starting to go into a state of stress we know what to do to hold ourselves. Myself, um, yoga completely changed my life. The things that I'm still on very much on the path. Uh, and I realized how much I was seeking support from things that weren't supportive. Like in my early years, it was partying and shopping and very unfulfilling uh, practices that in my ignorance was all I knew how to do to try and make myself feel better and it wasn't working. And then when I found yoga and the continuing deepening I've been on, 
I now don't need to turn to things and I know how to start to soothe my nervous system and to be in more states of presence and mindfulness and that also ex that expands the experience of everything whether it's eating a delicious mango or being in a forest or simply just sitting down and feeling the earth underneath my sit bones so this is a very full training you will leave with the skills of knowing how to really teach um, a one hour class that you've designed you've created yourself you know how to do it why to do it how to take care of your students but also you will have the richness of the knowing of what yoga is the knowing of what you're really giving and maybe that one hour that you teach someone is the only hour they have in their day to really drop in and be still there is such a powerful um, path in teaching yoga and uh, such a benefit for, for life, you know, for all beings. I also care very much about the environment and the more I've contemplated this, the more I realize that when we're suffering, when we're struggling, we don't have the capacity to care so much outside of ourself. You know, whether it's making that extra effort to research where we can recycle things or, and I know recycling is controversial sometimes, but um, because how much really does get recycled, but there's still the effort or, you know, the, the conscious effort of how much we use, you know, sometimes people just need to buy things they feel because um, of this kind of little dopamine rush. But when we are feeling more and more whole, we need less. We don't need to buy so much. We're more conscious of what we eat. We're more aware of how we live. We take more time in nature. So it's actually a globally effective practice, like to bring me people into more consciousness and more on a path of yoga. Then the ripple effect from the family out into the environment is huge. You know, maybe then people start taking more care of the food they're eating and the quality of their thoughts are better and the way they treat the people around them are better. Maybe they invest more in, maybe they donate money to a reforestation charity because they care more about the planet. There's more capacity to be more aware of others and life and to be in communion than when we're suffering. So the, the potential of the, and the reach that you have of creating positive change in the world um, is almost limitless. It says, you know, it, it's, it's beyond comprehension, I believe. So I hope this inspires you. I'll be teaching September, October and January in the upcoming trainings. I'd love to meet you and I wish you all the best. Much love.